let us now learn the other factors which have affected for india's deforestation if you look at the over population status of india but many of the developed countries are consume more amount when compared to common poor people or below poverty line people for example an average american consumes 40 times larger than what a somalian average con person takes consumes which means 40 people of somalia are consuming equal to one person who is consuming us which means the environmental pollution is being more by the rich and the developed countries it's not only with the case of united states if you take in india also five percent of the rich indian people are utilizing the natural resources of india which is equal to the usage of 25 percentage of people who are poor these are the astonishing facts which are revealed when this careful study was made deforestation will automatically result in the loss of cultural biodiversity so indians have to step up immediately and to preserve the cultural biodiversity seriously and that too the most people or the section of people who get more affected with the deforestation is women generally it is the responsibility of the women to cook and serve to the family so the families which are associated with the forests the women have to walk into the forest get the dried parts of the wood then bring it and cook if the forests are deforestating she has to walk for miles and miles to get them and there are situations when women used to walk for nearly 10 kilometers and get the coal wood and then do the cooking this definitely affects the health of the woman which will result because it is a state of poverty so when forests are present if forests are maintained properly the quality and the standard of the life of the people those who are associated with the forests are also maintained very well when the forests are deforestated when the deforestation on a larger scale it is not only affecting the forest environment but also it is affecting the lives of the people it is pushing them to fall into the state of poverty poverty would be the outcome on the impact of the people when deforestation happens there is loss in biodiversity because of deforestation mammals and species are getting endangered they are vulnerable to threat because of biodiversity because of this deforestation so all these factors have to be taken very seriously that's why the government of india has come up with the policy of conservation of forest and wildlife in india the forest life and the wildlife has to be safeguarded seriously if not they will definitely be in danger <clears throat> certain laws were brought in 1960s with also adding in 1972 where the wildlife protection also was added the main intention was here to save the remaining population preserve the remaining biodiversity preserve the extinct species which are rare to found in the other corners of the world let us preserve whatever diversity that is present for us available for us at this moment please try to preserve the endangered species of flora and fauna these were the main targets of this mission of 1972 wildlife protection act so some of the animals which are in a extinct or vulnerable state are tiger elephants indian great indian bustards are some of the animals so let us discuss about one of the project which was initiated by indian government that is project tiger project tiger was started in 1973 to safeguard tigers because the project tiger 1973 was initiated because by the time the number of the tigers available on the indian land are becoming from thousands they have become into hundreds so project tiger was initially successful in 1985 they have registered 4002 tigers in 1989 it went up to 4334 but astonishingly in 1993 the number has come down to 3600 and to stop this kind of endangers and threats 
they have started to set up tiger reserves this tiger reserves are established in six states and they have nearly 32137.14 square kilometers of land established at tiger reserves in various states like sundarbans in west bengal periyar region of kerala madhya pradesh uh, rajasthan assam and uttarakhand states where the tiger reserve projects are established in order to preserve the tiger because tiger is our national animal tiger is in danger tiger is in state of vulnerable state and the wildlife has to be protected now the idea has grown larger instead of preserving only a few set of animals let us preserve the larger biodiversity available for us on a larger scale so they decided by the acts which were brought into force in 1980 1986 to add on some more animals under the protection cell to preserve the elephants to preserve the lions to preserve the tigers so all these were been increasing the number and in 1991 it's not only the animals the plants have to be saved the plants are also becoming extinct the plants are also becoming vulnerable we need to save the plants also on large number so six varieties of plant species are also added in the 1991 act which was an addition to the wildlife so like this the government of india has initiated the conservation of forest and wildlife in india through the different acts from 1960 to 1972 act 1973 tiger project tiger and in wildlife acts of 1980 1986 and adding plants also to the wildlife protection and plant protection through the act of 1991 so in this way government has started her steps on a very large scale to safeguard the forest and also to safeguard the vulnerable species which are available in the indian land and to save and preserve the animal and plant biodiversity on the indian land if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus